Hey there, welcome back to another deep dive into the weird and wonderful world of quantum mechanics. Today, we're going to unravel one of the most fascinating and often misunderstood concepts in this field. Today, we're tackling a concept that's often misunderstood, quantum superposition. This idea is central to quantum mechanics and has puzzled scientists and enthusiasts alike for decades. You might have heard that an electron can be in multiple states at the same time. This notion can sound quite bizarre and counterintuitive, that's actually a bit misleading. The reality is more nuanced and fascinating. Let's break it down. Imagine we have an orb. Picture this orb with different textures, smooth and rough. These textures represent different states, and they exist on a spectrum. The orb isn't just smooth or rough. It can have a combination of both textures. Now here's the tricky part. Superposition isn't about being in multiple states at once. It's a more complex and intriguing phenomenon. It's actually a single state, a blend of textures. Think of it as a unique combination that represents a new state altogether. Think of vectors from your math classes, you know, with magnitude and direction. These vectors help us describe the state of the orb in a more precise way. In quantum mechanics, we use vectors to describe states too. These vectors are fundamental in understanding the behavior of particles at the quantum level. Smooth and rough are like our basis vectors, and any texture of the orb can be represented as a combination of these basis vectors. This combination is what we call a superposition. So, a superposition is just a vector in this texture space. It's a single well-defined state that combines the properties of the basis vectors. Let's dive a bit deeper with eigenstates. These are specific definite states of our system. Smooth and rough are eigenstates, specific and definite states of our orb. They represent the pure states that the orb can be in. A superposition? Not so much. It's a unique state that combines elements of these eigenstates. It's got components of both smooth and rough. This blend creates a new distinct state that isn't purely one or the other. Now what happens when we measure this superposition? Imagine using a detector. The act of measurement plays a crucial role in quantum mechanics. The act of measurement forces the orb into one of the eigenstates, either smooth or rough. This process is known as the collapse of the wave function. It doesn't mean the orb was in both states before. Measurement collapses it into a single, definite state. This collapse is a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics. Here's where probability kicks in. The likelihood of the orb collapsing into a particular eigenstate is determined by the coefficients of the superposition. These coefficients, when squared, give us the probability of measuring the corresponding eigenstate. This mathematical relationship is key to understanding quantum measurements. And for those of you diving even deeper, there's something called bra-ket notation. This notation is a powerful tool in quantum mechanics. It's a mathematical way to represent these probabilities, but we'll save that for another video. It's a topic that deserves its own deep dive. So, to wrap it up, quantum superposition isn't some mystical state of being everywhere at once. It's a precise single state that reflects a blend of possibilities. Pretty mind-blowing, right? The more we learn about quantum mechanics, the more fascinating it becomes. If you enjoyed this explanation and want more quantum weirdness in your life, don't forget to subscribe and check out our sponsor Babbel for more mind-expanding learning experiences. Your support helps us bring you more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the quantum world.